swish. A little while ago, I made a video about the Rogue Echo bike and how it might be one of the best home gym cardio machines that you could buy. But since then, I actually decided to sell mine because I discovered the Rogue Echo bike has a major problem that people just don't seem to be talking about. So last summer when I decided to buy the Rogue Echo bike, I did quite a bit of research and watched a lot of like YouTube reviews and read some blog reviews about the bike and pretty much everyone had great things to say about the bike, which to be fair is true. It's a really well made product. It's probably the best made air bike that you can buy and a lot of people seem to enjoy it. But throughout my research, almost nobody talked about this particular design issue that the Rogue Echo Bike has, which ultimately led me to sell it. So I wanted to make this video to kind of bring to light this problem, as I would have really liked to know about it back when I was purchasing my Echo Bike. And if you yourself are considering getting one, I think it would be really useful for you to know about this as well. So what is the problem with the Rogue Echo Bike? Essentially, the pedals are simply too far apart. There's something in biking called Q factor, which is the distance between the crank arms of a bicycle. And on the Echo bike, that distance is just kind of abnormally large. It's about 25 centimeters, while most bicycles are like 15 to 20 centimeters. And road bikes are about 15 to 17. So it's about 10 centimeters like too wide and I started noticing that this was kind of giving me knee pain because the way I was like pushing down on the pedals, my legs were wider apart than they probably should have been and it was just causing knee pain from uh, on my right knee. And it kind of sucked, like I enjoyed using the bike and everything and it took me a while to figure this out and to kind of narrow it down to the Echo bike because I was also running at the same time and I'd usually do both in the same day. And so it took me a while to kind of figure it out. But once I did, I started learning more about like Q factor and uh, I started to realize that, okay, maybe this is an issue. And then I found a couple other people on Reddit that were talking about this, but it was never mentioned when I was doing my research on the Echo bike. Nobody really talked about this. So I thought it would be beneficial to get a uh, YouTube video out there and just kind of like raise a little bit of a, like awareness about this issue um, because uh, I, I just don't want people to like buy it based off my review and then they get it and they have the same issue that, that I had. So yeah, this Q factor issue or the spacing between the pedals, it turned out to be a major problem for me with the bike as I wasn't able to use it for like how I wanted to use it, which was like doing high intensity interval training, which kind of made the problem worse for me um, than just like riding like steady on it. Uh, but yeah, it, it kind of sucked, uh, but it might not be a problem for you So if you have like a, a gym that has like the echo bikes there, maybe go and try them out uh, See how that feels for you do a few workouts on them uh, before you decide to buy like uh, drop like 1500 bucks and, and get your own so yeah, that was just my experience but clearly people have like positive experiences online with the bike and such and uh, yeah I don't want to be throwing shade to <laughs> to Rogue Fitness or anything it was still like a really well-built product and uh, uh, if you want more information about what I thought about it definitely check out the review that I made about it up there but I just wanted to throw this video up on the channel um, because that was kind of like my first review video and now that I figured out this problem with it and decided to sell it I just wanted to be like transparent with you guys and uh, and sh show you what's up so yeah I also forgot to mention too that the seat, even in the most forward position, is just farther back than most bicycles. I'm not sure why they did this. The angle is just kind of like a little bit farther back. So your, your feet and your legs are kind of like more forward than they would be on a normal bicycle. And so, so yeah, I, I didn't really know too much about like bike fitting and stuff uh, back when I bought the Echo bike. And since I've been training for Ironman, and learning more about like road biking and such. I've kind of like learned more a little bit about this and I know for myself a more narrow Q factor and having the pedals closer together feels a lot better on my knees and such. And since that's the case, I actually decided to get a Concept2 bike erg to replace my Echo bike. And that is much more of like a traditional style uh, stationary bike and it has a much more narrow Q factor of about 15.5 centimeters. 
and that bike is just much more comfortable for me. I'm able to do long rides on it without, uh, without any knee pain or anything like that. So I did end up finding a solution and like selling the Echo bike and getting a bike erg instead. Um, but I still just wanted to make this update video because a lot of people have been watching my uh, Echo bike review video and I didn't mention this at all in that review video because I just kind of like wasn't aware of it at the time. So I really hope you guys do find this video helpful. And uh, if you did, let me know uh, in the comments below what your experience has been like with the Echo bike is uh, do you find the pedals are too wide or do you find that you're able to comfortably ride it? I would love to know your guys' experience. And just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you all next week. Peace. Oh yeah, yeah bring it out there. Ah, there we go. Thank you.